الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم قال الله تعالى في كتاب الكريم وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون I've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me letting us know we have a divine purpose as believers as Muslims we believe that we our purpose here is to worship Allah alone that's our success and Along with that, it, it makes me reflect on an ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah. And when I see, when I come out here and see the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, how, how beautiful, beautiful and wondrous this is, min fadli Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that He created all of this. Not, not out of just play and just, just for enjoyment, but rather we should reflect. And it makes me think of the verse, Surah Al-Baqarah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَكُنْتُمْ أَمْوَاتًا وَحْيَاكُمْ ثُمَّ يُمِيتُكُمْ ثُمَّ إِلَيْهِ تُرْجِعُونَ وَكَمَا قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ بِاللَّهِ How can you disbelieve in Allah? How can you disbelieve in Allah? And you, you were dead. I mean, you were nothing. And Allah created you. He brought you, he brought you life. He gave you life, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he brought you life. Then he will cause you to die. Then he will cause you to die. Then he will cause you to have life again, meaning the hereafter. Thumma ilayhi turjoon, and then to him you will return. Kafir takfuruni billah. How is it that you can disbelieve in Allah, Subhanahu wa Taala? He created all of this, not of ju- just mere jest and 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 lib and play, but in fact, we should benefit from the beauty of this creation. And we should reflect on the beauty of this creation. It's from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He created this so that we would remember Him and we would worship Him, him alone. Kayfa takfaruna billah. It amazes me sometimes when you think about when someone chooses disbelief. It's as if they're choosing a dead heart. They're choosing death. When most human beings are scared uh, fearful of death. We fear death. And the person who chooses not to worship Allah chooses to disbelieve in Allah. How is it that you you disbelieve in Allah? Then this person is choosing a spiritual death in this life no matter what system they try to fulfill their needs with, and they find some happiness, they might find some joy. I'm not saying that. But it's misleading because it's not based upon Rabbil Alameen. It's not based upon the one who created you, the one who's worthy of worship, the one who designed all this. So it's false. It's from his, his creation. You're finding your fulfillment in those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created to worship Him. So it's false. And it's temporary. So كَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ billah. How is it that you disbelieve in Allah? And everything about this beautiful environment was created by Allah. Sometimes I wish I could contain the smell as if I could, if there was a way to bring the smell into the camera. Because the beautiful, natural air, the air is beautiful air. And the smells, the smells of all these various plants is beautiful. <sighs> How is it that you disbelieve in Allah? Will be ayy hadithi ba'da. Qala subhana. And which of your Lord's signs will you deny? Which one of his signs? 
will you deny? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all of this. Which one of his signs will you choose to deny? Worship him, avoid shirk, embrace tawheed, the oneness of Allah. And do not die except as believers. Believers in Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala, as mu'mineen. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.